Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have teamed up with Timu again to bring you guys a beauty try on haul. All of these products you saw a couple weeks ago, you saw me haul them and just show you some up close uh, pictures of them and kind of just do an unboxing video. But today we're gonna sit down and we're gonna play with all of this new Timu makeup full face of Timu, super affordable. If you guys want to see how the look is going to turn out, keep on watching. So I want to just give you guys, before we start, some quick details on Timu. In case you are unfamiliar with them, Timu is an affordable website where you can purchase just about anything and everything. Beauty, makeup, skincare, hair care, stuff for the house, clothing, stuff for your pets. They have it all at amazing prices. Sometimes they have sales up to 90% off. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but they have a lot of affordable products. And if you are needing some affordability in your life right now, I totally understand. I am hoping that we find some winners in today's try on haul, but I just wanted to let you guys know that Timu does offer free shipping and they also do free 90 day returns if in whatever case you are unsatisfied with your order, maybe something comes broken or you just didn't like it, feel free to return it within 90 days. I want to encourage you all to download the Timu app. It's just a lot easier to shop that way. But if you don't want to download the Timu app, no problem. Browse their website. You're going to spend hours, trust me, hours on there just looking at anything and everything that they have. All I have tried so far from Timu has just been kind of like makeup, beauty, skincare related items. I'm really looking forward to trying some more items really soon, but I also want to just give a big thank you to the team at Timu for sponsoring today's video and for sending these goodies my way, which I was able to choose. I chose everything that I'm going to be trying on in today's video. And Guys, I will have links and prices to everything that I'm using in the description box of today's video so you guys can check that out. I think you guys are going to be shocked at some of the prices of these items. Let's get started with applying makeup. Okay, so I want to point out this little brush carousel. It does turn, although it's hard for me to show you that it turns, but Trust me, it turns. And then these are the new brushes that I was able to pick up. If you remember from my last Timu haul, which I'll have my Timu playlist linked in a pinned comment, the brushes I got from that haul I wasn't the most impressed with, but these new brushes look and feel so much different. I love like the taupe handle with the rose gold up here. I just think they looked and they feel so much better than those other brushes I got. So I cannot wait to try them out. Now in this recent haul, I wasn't able to pick up a primer. I guess there just wasn't a primer that called my name. So I'm going to use the primer that I used in my last Timu try on video and it is this one right here. This is a color correcting primer but it is also a hydrating primer and it does come with a pump. So that's what it looks like. It has a little bit of green and pink and yellow in it. I'm just going to warm it up on my fingertips and start applying. There is a little bit of a fragrance to it. Nothing abrasive. Uh, nothing that lingers on the skin. I've worn this primer several times already and it really is a nice primer. It's played really nicely with the uh, foundations and concealers that I lay on top of it. And guys, I have definitely found some winners in my recent Timu hauls. Like, there are some good products here at like, gosh, less than three and four dollars at times. It's just it's just amazing. Now I picked up this little Timu foundation brush. How cute is this? So we're going to use this to apply foundation. I picked up the same foundation, but in two different shades. And it is this one right here. Foera. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the shades that I got in this one, this is a soft matte long wearing foundation, by the way, oil control, lightweight feeling. And, um, it says it's going to be, yeah, full, full coverage. Uh, the shades that I got are 
101 Porcelain. And then the other shade that I got is 102 Nude. So I also got some color correctors. So I think we're going to do, we should do the color correctors first, obviously. So I got a green one. This green one is going to help combat any redness on the skin. And it does have a little brush tip applicator. So I'm going to do a little bit of the green like right here. And I usually like to do it on my nose. I always feel like my nose is the reddest place on my face. But you can see here where I have old acne scars, minor discoloration. Do a little bit right there. And I'm going to use this little Timu brush just to kind of blend that out. You don't want to completely blend your color corrector. Like it's okay that it stays looking green because the foundation is going to go on top of it and it's going to camouflage it. You just really want it to cover to neutralize that redness. Or if you're going to go in with maybe a peach corrector, which we'll go in with that in a second, um, then you really just want it to neutralize whatever you're trying to neutralize, whether it be redness, dark spots, um, any darkness on the complexion. And it looks funny, it looks funny at first, but trust me, it's going to all come together in the end. You're not gonna stay looking like a hot mess. Don't worry. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the next corrector. This one is in the shade 10, but this is like more of long, along the lines of like a peach corrector. So usually you wanna do like peach to camouflage any darkness. So I'm just doing a little bit like down here under the eye. This might be a little too dark for me. I'm going to do a little bit right here where I have some minor discoloration as well. I cleaned off that brush. So I'm just going to use that same brush just to kind of blend this in a little bit. You don't want to fully blend it. Remember, you still want it to kind of show up a little bit. But it's all going to come together. Trust the process. Okay, now I think I'm going to go in with the second darkest foundation, which is 102 Nude. So actually, this might be a little too dark for me. Let me try the first one. Hmm, I think I'll just mix them. I'll just mix them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the foundation brush, and I'm just going to kind of like dip into both like that. And then let's start applying. I've never used this style of foundation brush before, but I thought it looked pretty interesting, so I wanted to give it a shot. It's really densely packed. I'm going to get a sponge and kind of just go over the under eye area, and I do have a concealer. The same style as the color correctors that I'm going to use. Don't know how I'm feeling about this brush. Like I feel like maybe you're meant to like just swipe, but I don't do a swiping motion with my whenever I use a foundation brushes. I kind of do like a stippling motion. So I don't know that this brush is necessarily going to be for me. I mean, I do think it's doing a good job of applying the foundation. It's just, it's just me. I'm not used to using something with such a tiny handle, you know? Yeah, I think I'm going to switch over. I usually go, I, I put my foundation on first with a brush and then I go over it with a uh, damp sponge. And I have a, a Timu sponge waiting for me to use and it is this one right here it came as a set of four so I have a little bit of product left on the back I'm just gonna take that and just press over everything to make sure everything is as seamless as possible you can see how the color corrector went away and now I have like full coverage going on I don't think the shade is terrible. I think it, it's, you know, it's a slight, slight bit too dark, but mixing them was definitely a good call. All right, so let's go in with concealer next. Same brand as the other one. The shade I have in this one is O2. I always just like to add a little bit here, even though I really don't think I need it today, but just do it out of habit. I'm going to use the damp sponge. 
I've been loving these sponges, by the way. Again, it was a pack of four. They come in different colors. I chose the green ones because you guys know I love green. But they come in a really cute, cute carrying case. And I've washed them several times already, and they wash up really well. Okay, guys, I think we definitely have a full coverage face going on. But you still can see... Like it has a natural finish to it. Like there's a bit of a glow. I think that also has to do with the primer. It's a hydrating primer. So next I have this little contour palette. And let's see. I remember when I swatched this, I was like a little hesitant. I don't buy a lot of these like palettes that are meant to be like sculpting palettes, contour palettes. I just, I, I don't really do a lot of contour. And this is what it looks like. The brand on this one is called Carla Secret and actually says it's a concealer palette. Um, I also have this stick concealer over here. It's like a contour stick. This one is called a uh, Ploy 101 stick. It has like a concealer highlighter on one end and then like a bronzer contour on the other. I feel like I want to use this one though. So let's see. I'm going to go for this angled brush and I think I'm going to go into this shade right here and we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll start first on my forehead. Oh, that is some good pigment. I don't know why I remember like when I swatched these initially when I was doing like that unboxing vi video, I was a little skeptical about it, but yeah, that seems to be blending out really well. So this is a warm tone, but these, some of these kind of look like they're a little on the cool tone side. So I think that's good that you can get a nice mixture. And I want to say there was a couple other different shades in this palette as well. Well, I think I don't really remember. That is nice. This brush feels really good too. This brush feels totally different than that first set of brushes that I got. Okay, I'm liking that. I am liking that a lot. A lot. I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. I'm gonna try this one right here. I'm not doing a lot of bronzer like on my cheekbones. I'm kind of just keeping it like right here and I'm playing up blush more. That's what I've been doing lately. You know, you could very easily use this as a foundation palette as well, like foundation, concealer, bronzer, like an all in one. So that's interesting. I like that. That blends out really, really nicely. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of this shade over here. This one It's going to do a little bit on the nose. Again, I don't really contour. I just bronze. And so, I, you know, I know this step, what I'm doing here is meant to be for contour shades. I don't do that. I don't follow those rules. I just use bronzer and, and I like the way it looks. So that's all that matters. If you like the way it looks, you continue to do it. Don't worry about the rules. I think that's cute and super affordable. I want to say this could have been around five, six dollars maybe. Like nothing in this haul that I'm trying I think is over eight dollars. So there you go. You want affordability? It is right here. Okay, so I am done with all of my cream products. So now I'm going to set my complexion with this setting spray. This is the Myco Color Fit Me Matte Finish Prep and Prime Finishing uh, Facial Spray. So just give it a shake. Let's see. Yeah, it's a fine mist. I'm just going to take the sponge, press over everything. There's a slight scent to this setting spray, but it's already going away. It's nothing abrasive. It actually has an, a pleasant scent to it. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Clever Cat Fit Me Powder. So in this particular powder, you get two, you get a sponge, but you also get two different shades. So you have one down there, and then you have one up here. This one seems like the brighter shade, so I'm going to use this one for the under eye area. And I do have a little Timu powder puff, so let me just... Pat out any creases. I do have a Timu loose 
setting powder that I did picked up in my last Timu haul and I've been loving that one. Okay, so this powder has a scent to it. This powder actually has a strong scent to it. Like it's like a powder, like a scented powder scent. I, I, that makes sense. I know that I like that. It smells like it's like a floral almost. Now I am a normal to oily skin type and my nose is the first place that I get the oiliest. So I just really wanna make sure I pat down my T-zone. I've been loving these little powder puffs. They're making the powder just go on so much better, in particular under the eye area. I don't notice a lot of cakiness or anything. I feel like you just get a nice application when you use a little powder puff. All right, so I don't have a new Chimu blush that I picked up in this haul, so I'm gonna get the one that was my favorite in my last Timu Beauty Try On haul. Okay, so here is the blush that I'm going to use. This actually made one of my favorites. I don't remember if it was, it had to be February or March, but this is the CDE blush and it's in the shade 01. It is a glowy blush, but it is a beautiful blush. And what brush, I guess I'm gonna use this brush right here to apply. I love the imprint on it as well. This is beautiful. I think this comes in like two different shades, but this could be your one and done. You might not feel like you need highlighter, especially if you don't like wearing a lot of highlighter, you don't want a blinding highlighter. This little blush will give you enough glow. I love it. It is so, so pretty. And I feel like the glowiness of it has been taken down a bit because we have some matte products going on underneath. I just think it is a beautiful, beautiful shade of blush. And that's why this has made a favorites list. I think this one might be one of my favorite blushes of 2023. I think I'm going to call that right now. Okay, so in my last Timu haul video, try on video, I discovered a beautiful highlighter in that video. And now I picked up these highlighters. I did cheat a little bit. I've been using this one. I've used it a couple times already. It is beautiful. And some of you have asked me in videos, Steph, which highlighter are you wearing? And it's been this one. This is the uh, Hadean. I'm butchering the name, but it's the Diamond Highlighting Powder. So this pink shade is shade 03. It's just a little plastic lid that pops on and off. And then this pearlescent highlighter is shade 01. Let's do, we're going to do them both. I'm going to start first with the pink one. Do I have a, oh, I do, look at the little fan brush. It's been years that I don't use a fan brush. But let's do that. We'll do that up here. Not used to using a fan brush all that much. I don't know. I'm just not used to using the fan brush. But this is what we have. This is what we're using. But this is a beautiful highlighter. Comes in different shades. I want to say there's like four shades in this one. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but these were the two shades that I chose. Now we're going to go into the white one, the pearl one. And I'm going to focus that, high. wow. Okay, I'm going to focus that up here. Wow. Okay. Where is my blush brush? I'm going to go back in with the blush brush and kind of just use that to diffuse the highlighter a little bit and just blend everything. These highlighters are just stunning though. Absolutely beautiful. This could be one of my favorite things in this haul, these highlighters. I mean, they rival high-end highlighters. That's how good they are. And even the one that I tried in the last haul that I did, a try-on haul, they definitely rival a lot of high-end brands and they are 
Again, everything in this haul is under $8. So I have a brow pencil right here. I'm not going to do my brows on camera just because it's going to take me forever, but it's like one of those really fine micro brow pencils. It's in the shade Soft Brown. And um, let me just show you the shade real quick. That's the shade it is. So I'll take care of my brows off camera and then I'll come back and we are going to start playing. I have three eyeshadow pal palettes to play with, but I'm only going to be able to create one look. So I'll be sure to incorporate all three in that look. Okay guys, brows are on and I added a lipstick. So these are the three lipsticks that I picked up and I'm sorry to say they don't have shades on them, but I did swatch them on the back of my hand. So this one right here is this shade and the packaging is really pretty. These are matte lipsticks. And then the darkest shade, which is going to be this one right here. Look at those pretty butterflies. That's the shade there. And it is the middle shade there on my hand. And then the one I have on is obviously the last shade here. And let me show you the packaging on that one. Looks like those are little peaches, right? Really cute. And I will change into all three, or the other two, um, before the end of the video. So let me show you which eyeshadow palettes I picked up. Um, I picked up these two nude palettes. This is Nude Magical, and that's what it looks like. And then I also picked up Nude Stunning. And this is a bit of a darker toned. And then I picked up a little duo. This little duo right here, this one is Makeup Eyeshadow Kiss Beauty. This one is in the shade number five. Look at how pretty that looks. Just two shades. That's all you need. Two shades, that matte in the crease and on the lower lash line, and then the shimmer on the lid and in the inner corner. I'm definitely going to probably get use out of the shimmer today, but I'll try and incorporate uh, both of those in this eye look since I'm only going to do one eye look. I also picked up some little half lashes right here, and then I picked up this gel liner set. So these are just retractable gel liner pencils. So we have a lot to try out. Oh, and I did get, I did get this mascara. I think this is a waterproof, oh, it's a waterproof mascara. I just, I am not a fan of waterproof mascaras. I don't wear them very often, but that is what they had. And so that is what I chose. I also want to show you something that is too cute that I've been using. And it is this little color switch right here. So that is the cat. This is the lid that actually goes on top, but I keep it on the bottom. And then this is what it looks like. Mine is clean. And whenever I wash these, I just wash them with regular dish, dish soap. I think the soap I'm using right now is Dawn. So um, I have so many of those. Here's like a clean one right here. Um, I just use them all the time to switch uh, the colors of whenever I'm using my eyeshadow brushes. So let's start first with the lighter palette, which is magical. That way we can get something, something soft in the crease. And I think I'm going to go in first with this shade. I didn't get an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just using a little bit of concealer as my eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to go in with this brush right here. These brushes don't have any numbers on them, but it's just a little fluffy blending brush. A brush and dip into the shade that in the crease okay pigment good off to a good start these brushes I'm telling you way better than the other brush that I had gotten these brushes if you're looking for a very inexpensive brush set that's gonna give you some eye brushes as well as face brushes they are synthetic uh, this would be a fantastic set to pick up. It also comes in a little pouch, like a little travel carrying pouch too. It's like a leatherette pouch. That's a beautiful shade. And it's blending so well. Okay, now I'm going to go into the stunning palette. And I think I'm going to go into... Actually, do I want to do that? Or do I want to use the shade? I think I'm going to go in with this shade. I'll go in with this shade. I'll really add that into the crease. 
And then I'll go into this palette and probably use this darker shade on the outer corner. And I'm going to keep using that same brush and let me just dip in here. Place that a little bit lower. Oh, this is blending so well. All right, now I'm going to take this brush right here. It's a little larger than I would have liked. I would have liked to have seen some smaller blending brushes in this set, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here and focus this on the outer corner. Do I dare say that these inspired palettes, because I think you all know what they're inspired by, are performing much better than the real one. Wow, I'm I'm really, I'm truly impressed. These brushes are just doing such a phenomenal job. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush I was using, no additional product. I'm just gonna go over everything just to kind of help blend everything together. My expectations have truly been exceeded. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm very happy that this is what we're getting. Um, I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back into this little duo for the shimmer shadow that is in here. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm gonna use this little brush right here. I am gonna spray it, but I pick the product up and then I'll spray it with that setting spray I used earlier. This one right here. Oh, come on, pigment. There we go, a little bit more. Felt a little bit of fallout. Not as shimmery as I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be a bit more shimmery, a bit more impactful than what it's turning out. Okay, so it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. I don't see another shimmer. The other palette, these are darker shimmer shades, so... Let me see, I'm gonna pick some of this one up with my finger and just, oh yeah, that's better. Oh, that's much better. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the lighter palette and I think I'm gonna start with this shade and then really tight line with this other shade. Now I'm not really seeing a brush that I can use for that. I think I'm gonna try this one and just use like the tip of it. See how that works. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Now, I guess I'll use, let's see, I'm gonna use this little brush right here and I'm gonna go into the deeper shade. And I'm gonna use that to tight line. Now we need something for the inner corner. Hmm, what am I gonna do for the inner corner? I guess I'm gonna go back in with this gold shade because that looked really pretty on the center of the lid. I'm just cleaning off this little brush right here and that's what I'll use and I am gonna spray the shade. I'm thinking that maybe these shimmers are better applied with your finger. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm getting more payoff with the finger instead of like the brush. So I'm loving the way the look turned out. I'm gonna take care of mascara, which I'll be using this one, and I'm gonna add um, a liner or two. I'll take care of that off camera real quick, and I'll come back on, and I'll show you guys this completed look with this new Timu makeup. Okay guys, so here is the completed look. I added two different eyeliners from that set, the black one and then this one right here. Um, this one is shade 04, the black one is shade 20, okay? I did add the mascara. I do not recommend this mascara. This is the She Does, the Magnum Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. 
this did nothing for my lashes. Now, I did add the falsies, which are these little half lashes right here. My lashes are actually longer <laughs> than these little falsies are, so I don't even know that it looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes, but I guess if that's the look you're going for, if maybe you have shorter lashes and these lashes are going to provide that fullness just in the outer corner, then yeah, maybe this would work for you, but these are a little too a little too demure for me to wear. I would just rather wear my natural lashes and just pump up the volume with the mascara. They were a little bit difficult to apply as well. But other than that, those were like the only two issues I encountered. I did, did change lippies and I went in with the lightest shade and it is this one right here. I think it's a pretty shade. I don't really know how I like it with this look, but I did tell you I was going to be swatching all three. And um, with that guy, Guys, we wrap up today's video. I've officially used just about everything in my latest Timu haul. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video. I'm going to change into the last lipstick and I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so now that I tried everything in my latest Timu haul, let me go ahead and just recap everything, tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I think you really need to check out. Okay guys, so here is the other lippy. I think this lippy complements the eye look so much better. It is the darkest of the three, and I do want to mention I really enjoyed these lipsticks. I think there was like six, maybe eight different shades, and these were selling out really quick. So this was definitely one of my favorite things from the bunch. They are a soft matte lipstick. Uh, the foundation and I mix shades one and two I think I got beautiful coverage from it I think my skin looks really nice really covered but I still have a soft glow going on so I really love that the mascara is something you can totally pass on didn't like this never been a fan of waterproof mascara and I didn't really notice that this did anything for my lashes so that's definitely something that I will that you can just pass on I did love the gel liners oh my goodness um, I put them in the waterline no irritation or anything like that. I have a couple other single gel liners from Timu as well that I do enjoy, but this is a nice set. And again, everything in this haul I think is less than $8. The lashes, I mean, if you have longer lashes, these aren't going to be for you. If you have shorter lashes and you just want to add a little bit of a flare to the um, corner of your lash, then I think that these would be worth picking up. But I did have a little bit of a difficult time applying them. They just didn't want to stick. I think these nude palettes are definitely worth checking out. Very pigmented. Love the way they blended with one another. Love the way this eye look turned out. So these, I think, are a definite must-have. The Diamond Highlighters, one of the stars of the show. These highlighters are beautiful. They come in a couple more different shades. The shades I have, uh, the pink one is shade 03, and the white one is shade 01. Absolutely love them. Um, the duo shadow, this is nice. There are different shades, but I really had to work for that shimmer, and I was a little disappointed with the shimmer. The matte, though, is fantastic. I didn't think I was going to like this like contour highlight. This is the Carla Secret Concealer Palette, but this actually turned out to be a really nice palette. And I like the different shades that are in here as well. Um, as far as this little foundation brush goes, I mean, I think it did the job, but it's just... I don't know. I think it's too small. I'm used to a foundation brush with a handle, but I still think it's maybe something nice to travel with. It did do a good job, but I feel like you're supposed to kind of swipe the foundation on with this one, and that's not my preferred method. I like to stipple. I was able to do that, but I don't know. Like, it's just okay. It's not terrible, but it's not It's not my favorite. Um, I've already reviewed the primer before. I do like this primer. I have been using it since initially uh, reviewing it. I like this Fit Me um, setting spray. So far, so good. And I do want to mention, I will do a quick check-in before I wrap up this video, just so you can see how the makeup wore throughout the day. I think I'm probably going to have this makeup on for a good maybe eight hours, so I'll do a check-in 
um, before I wrap up the video. Hey guys, I just wanted to do this quick check-in so you can see what this Timu face of makeup is looking like about eight hours later after I applied. No touch-ups. The lipstick obviously has come off. I just had dinner a while ago, but Look at the eye makeup. The eye makeup is still intact. I could use a little bit of some setting powder, a little bit of a blot, but the blush is there. The highlighter is blinding. I'm liking the way it looks. You know, the lashes are itty bitty. It doesn't really even look like I have falsies on, but I think the rest of the makeup just looks great. For less than $8, Timu is definitely worth checking out. The uh, Fit Me Press Powder, I like it, but the scent, I can still smell it. The scent is kind of lingering, and I know scent or fragrance in makeup products really irritates some of you. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, I would probably pass on this, but I do think it looks really pretty on the complexion, and it looks really smooth and blurring under the eye area. Um, the correctors that I tried, the green and the peach, I think they did a fantastic job and also the regular concealer where is it over here i think these three are perfect i love them they also come in different shades the blush is one of my favorites i tried this in my other timu try on haul i just think it is so so pretty i would definitely recommend checking that out and the eyebrow pencil i liked it it's a skinny little eyebrow pencil i thought it was cute but i did have to go in with my own brow pen to kind of just draw in some hair like strokes because I wasn't able to find a brow pen on the Timu site maybe they had sold out a lot of these things a lot of their products tend to sell out really quick so if you see something that you like I would grab it immediately once again Timu is offering free shipping and free 90 day returns um, on purchases that you might not be satisfied with or maybe you received something that came broken don't worry about it Timu will accept that return I want to encourage you to download the app and just browse and see everything that they have on there and thank you so much Timu for working with me on today's video I I love this Timu haul I love trying affordable makeup we cannot all of us cannot afford to be shopping at Sephora and Ulta and buying you know our favorite indie brands on a daily basis if we can get something that's maybe inspired by one of our favorite high-end brands and get it at a fraction of the cost I mean why not? Definitely check the description box for all of the products that I used for prices and also how you can save some money off of your very first Timu order. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, cheers, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!